Microsoft have just released a new card visual that is so much better than the old card visual that we had. You no longer have to create individual cards, worry about the spacing, have to worry about the text and how it will look. It's just so much better. You can create all these designs with just one visual and it's so easy to do. I'll be using this from now on. I won't be using the old card visual. It's just so much better. And with that, let's learn how to use this visual and create a few of these designs that I've shown. So we can see we have the new card visual. It is symbolized by a lightning. So we can see the card and a lightning. So by selecting this visual, we can now start to select our columns or our measures. So we can see by selecting our measures, it is now creating a new card for every measure that we select. If it was a column, it would do the same thing. That is so much quicker. It works similar to how a multi-roll card works, but now we have individual cards. So if we go to the formatting tab, we can see we have four options. We have shape, fallout, layout, and card. Shape essentially allows you to change the shape of your card. So if I select rounded rectangle, we can make the edges more round. If I selected customize style now, we can be a little bit more specific with what corners we want to make, make it round. And this applies to the other shapes that we have as well. So if I change this to snip tab, we can see we can adjust the edges. It's a little bit different in the formatting. Customer style, uh, customized style will work very similar where we can select the edges we want to snip. So we have three essential shapes that we can utilize. Uh, I'm going to stick to rounded edges. Now, the next section is call out. Call out refers to our labels and our values. So this is what we're seeing in the middle of our cards. Apply settings. This is what, what uh, card you want to apply it for. So I'm going to select all, so this will affect all of our cards. So if I adjust the size of our values and then our labels, so labels being the text and then values being the actual numbers behind your card. So we can see we have those two elements and spacing that allows us to adjust the width between our um, header and our values. And then we have layout. So layout is probably the most one of the most important ones where we can adjust our grid. So if I select vertical, our grid will now be vertical. If I select horizontal, it is horizontal. And grid is where we can be a little bit more flexible in how we want to adjust it. If I write two rows, we'll have two. And columns is how many columns we want. So by two, we can see we have two columns uh, represented. So every card is going to go into one and then column two. So if I adjust that to four and then said I want three columns, we can now see it's being split by three. So let me bring some more calculations in and we can see that it is following that grid structure. And then we have uh, our cards. So this is the meat of our visual. We can format individual cards or everything. So by selecting all and then fill, if I selected orange, for example, we can see all our cards are orange. But if I then selected an individual column, we can now make that one card. Uh, we can make that one card orange. So not columns our individual calculations or what we brought into our measure. So fill allows us to change the color. Border allows us to apply a border. So if I select all, it will give one to every single card in that visual. But let's turn off our border. Then we have shadow and then we have image. So image is very powerful because before this would take ages to do. So I'm going to select one, uh, one of our measures. I'm going to bring in an image and then we can see it has gone into that specific card. If I put make that fit, change the position to a left and then put the size to 32, we can see we applied that to that one card. Now we can be very specific across all our measures all our columns that we bring in this is so powerful and it, it's just so much easier than before i can't begin to explain how much and then we have accent bar i really like this because this allows us to bring a bar and move it across our card so if i bring this to the top and then let's change this to gray and make the width wider we can see we can apply some formatting and i'm going to show a few different examples where this has been quite powerful so i've moved that to the left and we can see the, the um, accent bar is on the left and an example of what we can do is if I bring this to the bottom, we can place this anywhere we want. So right now I've selected all, but then if I selected a specific uh, measure, we can make that one orange. If I selected another one, we can make that um, blue and so on and so forth. Now I'm going to show you how to create that visual with the spark lines. So I'm going to create the uh, card visual, bring in four measures, go to format, change the layout to vertical, and then I'm going to set the spacing to zero. So we want no spacing between our uh, cards. Let me just make this a little bit wider. 
And then from here, what I'm going to do is go to um, a format once again, cards and turn off the border and turn on the accent bar. Now I'm going to put the accent bar to the bottom because we want it to act like a line between each uh, as a separator, change the transparency to a light gray then set the width to one. So let me make my visual a little bit wider. So now we have some space and then make it a little bit thinner. So we've created our four cards. I'm just going to do some formatting of the call out values. So this is just to make the text a little bit nicer. So put the spacing between them a little bit smaller, adjust the fonts, etc. Now I'm going to insert some images. So if we insert our images to our card, I'm just going to bring in one for demonstration. So this is against the first column, bring that uh, to the left, set the size to 32. I will now apply that to the other one. So each image for each, um, for each uh, metric that we have. So let me just do this and then skip once I've completed that. So now I'm going to create a line chart. So by bringing in our measures, creating a line chart, I just want it by month. So the count of cust uh, customers for Africa, turn off the X axis and the Y axis. And then from there, turn off the title. And we can now just drag this into the blank space. So as we can see, this is acting as a sort of spark line. Now you can do this with an SVG visual. I've seen the DAX for it. Um, I saw it on LinkedIn and I think BI Park did a, uh, had that in his video. To be honest, if you're more of a beginner, this will just do the job. I'll be honest, I'll be most likely just doing this if I do need a spark line in my card. But it is a bit different. If you need it in the same card, a little bit thinner, then that's probably the better solution. But this is just to showcase what you can do with some formatting. So I'm going to show you how we can create this style card. So I'm going to select this card and just show you the formatting for this. So it's four visuals. Uh, if we go to card, we have an accent bar. So this is going to be at the top. And then if we go to call out, these are the formatting that we use. And then for the label, once again, and the spacing, we want two between uh, the value and the 